Welcome to another ham radio and electronics video. In this video, I will be showing you how to configure Pi Star Digital Voice Hotspot to work with DMR and YSF. This will also be configuring it on the radio side as well. So the first thing you're going to do once you get your fresh, nice hotspot that you just bought it off of Amazon is you're going to take the SD card, plug it in your computer because you need to configure it for Wi-Fi. Configure it to Wi-Fi, you need to go to www.pistar.uk slash Wi-Fi underscore builder.php. Links will be in the description. You need to put in your SSID, which is your network you're going to be using. Uh, I'm using Valor's network is my Wi-Fi SSID. Put in your passcode for that, which is PSK. Then you need to have US, if you're doing US, whatever country you're in. I'm in US, so I'm going to click submit. And it's going to download here. It should say WPA underscore supplicant dot config. I already have mine downloaded, so you need to go out to wherever you downloaded that. You need to copy this file and you need to paste it into your Raspberry Pi SD card. So go to your Raspberry Pi SD card. Mine's labeled as boot. And you need to click overlays and just paste this right inside the Pi Star. And now it should be in there. Eject the SD card and you need to put this back inside the hotspot. And then once you put that back inside the hotspot, you need to reboot the hotspot. Okay, so once you have the Raspberry Pi for the hotspot up and booted, you need to search for advanced IP scanner or use whatever IP scanner you like to use. Click on uh, it, it goes to advancedipscanner.com, click free download, and it will begin to download. So once that is downloaded, uh, you need to run the installer and then open the program. So I am now in the program and you need to click scan. If, let's, if your network isn't 192.168.1.1, or if it isn't 192.168.0.1, uh, there's a bar at the top where you can configure your network. So if, let's say you're running mine is 10.27.27.1, uh, it's going to scan 10.27.27.1 through 10.27.27.5. So that's how that works. And you can find another YouTube video on how to configure the advanced IP scanner. You're going to have to look for Raspberry Pi Foundation, and it should say Pi Star by the name. Mine is different because I configured mine differently. So you need to go out to this IP address in your browser. So type in your IP address in your favorite browser. Click Configuration. The default login is Pi-Star. And the password by default is Raspberry. Enter that information in. Once you have that in, it will pop up a screen like this. I'm going to move to a different browser here. So uh, this is what it looks like here. You need to put in your call sign here. The frequency I recommend you use 446.55.0.000. And basically, that is the frequency Bridgecom uses for their hotspot. Unless you have a different frequency in mind that that doesn't interfere with satellites and repeaters and all that stuff, uh, put that frequency in here. Put your latitude and longitude in if you want to. Put in your town. For country, I'm in the USA, so I'm going to do USA. Put in your QRZ page right here, the URLs to your QRZ page. Uh, if you want your hotspot for anyone to access it, so any radio can access it if it's on public. If you know the knowledge of like, you want it to be restricted to a certain uh, DMR ID, you would click private, otherwise just use public. That is up to you. Click apply changes after that and wait for it to reload its changes. All right, uh, after about 30, 40 seconds is saying that it's stopping services and uh, then it's gonna pop up this warning message. Just click okay. Uh, this is where the fun stuff begins. Uh, for this demonstration, I'll be doing DMR and YSF. So I'm going to click DMR, enable that for if you're doing DMR. 
if you're using YSF, enable YSF. If you're doing multiple modes, you can enable them both. The only difference is that I'm going to explain the RF hang times. If there's traffic on DMR and the hotspot receives it, uh, it will give it 20 seconds for the traffic to end and then it'll switch to switching mode. So basically, the hotspot switches between DMR and YSF. And then the net and RF hang time, I would just leave that as the default is 20. Scroll down here. Uh, we want our radio sesh modem to be GPIO. We want it to be, I believe it's the STM32. I mean, you can just leave it as default, that's fine. But uh, if let's say something happens, you, you want to do your research and select this over here. So scroll down, and that's all you have to configure for that. It's just these modes, and click Apply Changes. And once again, uh, let it wait 30, 40 seconds for the configuration to reload. Alrighty, so it says modem, his selection, must update. That's fine. Uh, now, here, since you have DMR ID enabled, you're going to want to enable, if you're using DMR, enter your DMR ID. It's good just to have a DMR ID even if you don't use DMR. Just if you do want to use it down the road. Uh, now here is where you get to configure DMR. So, uh, most people want to be on Brandmeister. But there is also TGIF network on here. There's DMR Plus on here. I believe there's Mark. Nope. Uh, there's DMR to YSF kind of thing if you want a cross mode. Uh, right now, we're looking for uh, Brandmeister. So, if you're in the USA, uh, 3102 would be the West Coast, 3103 would be the Midwest, and 3104 would be the East Coast. Uh, I am closest to 3103, so I'll use that. The big main one that most people use is 3104. So, you can have a, let's say if you're running multiple hotspots, you want it to give it a unique number. Uh, if this is the only hotspot and you're not running Droid Star or any other DMR thing, just leave that as none. Down here for YSF, you don't have to mess with this. Uh, but if you want, when the hotspot boots up, uh, if you want by default, you can have it go to a miracle link or something. Otherwise, I would just click none so it doesn't start up. But if you want to, uh, you can just do a miracle link. Select that and click Apply Changes. Okay, it is done configuring here. Oh, the next thing that you'll want to change here is the DMR. Otherwise, just the YSF is fine as it is. Uh, for your hotspot security password, you're going to want to enter uh, your Brandmeister self-care security password. You're going to have to go to the Brandmeister website. If you don't have a Brandmeister account, you're going to have to register that with the call sign. Uh, once you do that, you enter your password. I have a password that I set up custom, so I'm going to enter that here. And that's all you need to do. Click Apply Changes. Okay, this is done, and I believe if everything is set up correctly, we are complete with the YSF and DMR setup. Okay, so this is DMR, my Anytone 878UV2+. And I'm going to be showing you how to configure it for DMR. So click menu. Then go down to settings. And with your channel, you want to do channel set. And you want to go down and you want the channel type for DMR. You want digital. For transmit power, I would set this to low unless you're... Uh, out and about but for if you're running this just for your house leave it at low because sometimes high power overpowers the hotspot offset uh leave it at zero 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 hertz because this is a simplex hotspot unless you have a duplex hotspot uh, but we didn't we covered simplex hotspot for this tutorial bandwidth uh select narrow because that's dmr's default Receive frequency, set it up to your hotspot frequency that you chose. 4465500. So what I did for mine. 
Now go to your transmit frequency, do the same, 446.550, mine's already selected there. Uh, now, everything else is set up except for the radio ID. Make sure that you have a radio ID, if not, click add radio ID and put in your DMR ID and name. For me, I'm selecting Colin T0 and NK. And I'm going to save that. So that's what select color code. Uh, for the hotspot, by default, select to 1 unless you change that. Time slot, use time slot 2 for uh, hotspots. And you should be good. So now we can send a test, parrot test, to our a hotspot so you need to go over here and click talk group and basically you need to create a new contact and input the ID uh, we're doing parrots so we're going to make sure it's private call to make a talk group uh, you want to hit the hash symbol right here which does it into the talk group ID for the test parrot test we want private ID is nine 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 zero Confirm, enter name, just give it a name. You can name it paired or whatever you want. Scroll down to the bottom and click save. And it should save it. And then once you go back to the talk group list, it should be listed there as one of the talk groups on here. And then you select it from there. I'm going to select it manually here uh, since I know where it is. Okay, so I got my yay's. Zoo System Fusion Radio here, and uh, all you need to do is go into VFF mode, and uh, you need to type in the frequency of your hotspot, and uh, make sure that you have your call sign enabled on your user radio. That should be done. So four four six five five zero, and boom, it's already on the hotspot, and there's already people talking on AmeriClink for YSF. There's already activity. That is how simple it is to set up YSF. So if it does, and if if selecting at FM, make sure you just click the mode and make sure it has the TX00DN and now it's on YSF.